So it, I don't here, know if you need anything. You, I think you'll you love need this. to just stay focused. 15 uncomfortable truths. Salary is a drug that your employer gives you to forget your dreams. If you're willing to work for a specific amount of money, that's on you 100%. Mm-hmm. You cannot blame your employer. Where I take it is people are in their comfort zone. You get a salary and Keeps you start you to get there. comfortable. And you know the salary is always going to be there because your employer is always going to be there. So you're comfortable. Make wise investment decisions and just live your life. Don't wait for the right time. You'll waste your entire life and nothing will happen. I, I agree with that 100%. And that goes, that has nothing to do, that has nothing to do with business. Yeah. I mean, that is everything. So if, if when, you know, if you know in your heart, you want to ask some girl to marry you, don't wait a year. My wife and I, we had many conversations before we even got married that we both want to have kids and we want to have two kids. Like we, we knew the number, we knew everything. Like what if you'd had twins the second time? If I had twins the first time, it would be done. Like I'd get clipped. Well, mm-hmm. so I had my vasectomy scheduled before a second kid was born. Can't take them anywhere, huh? Yeah. No, I can't. Even That's when you kidding. trust your close friends and family, let them know nothing about you. I don't tell anyone anything. And not a lot of my close friends even know they don't even know I do a podcast. I don't share a lot of our stuff about the podcast on my personal social media. If our podcast is to be successful, it's going to be successful on its own, not because I'm like out there trying to pimp it every week on my social media. Why do you think that that's true? You have people that use their social media to sell their products all the time, and I freaking unfollow them or unfriend them. I'm like, I don't come to social media to have you sell me your shit. Yeah, you turn but- a lot of people off when... All you do is post about shit that they may or may not be interested in. Like, how many houses am I going to buy in a couple of years? One, right? But it's not because my friends posted it on social media. Nobody knows how dedicated you are other than you. And nobody knows how committed you are other than you. And nobody knows how well thought out you have your plan other than you. Yeah. So the moment you tell anybody they are going to try to shoot holes in your theory not intentionally, not because they want to pull you down, but because they are, they're tr- they think they're looking out for your best interest. You'll lose 99% of your close friends when you start upgrading your life. I hadn't thought about that until you said that. I thought I was going to be like, I don't have any close friends, who cares? But you know what? When I got married, that is 100% true. Yeah. The marriage was an upgrade. I mean, without her, I'd probably be in a fucking gutter somewhere. This is like an enlightening moment for me right now. The government is scum that will never save you from your problems. People think that they can get rid of religion, and then government is their religion. And then they they basically rely on government for everything, yep. for money, for health care, for yep. you know, just everything. Listen, people, government is a fucking scam. Yeah. Okay? You do not need the government to tell you what to do or how to do it or when to shit or when to eat, or where to go wait in line for water, or where to go wait in line for bread. Stop pretending and voting for them to control your lives. We're all given the same set of rules to play by, and it's our job to to win with those set of rules. You'll be ten times happier if you forgive your parents and stop blaming them for your problems. I mean, I wish wish that they would have made me go to college and paid for my college. But then at the same time, I think, would I have been any better off? See, maybe not. So I don't, I don't blame, you know what I mean? I don't blame them for that. Yeah. So I was. Maybe I wish my dad hadn't been married four times. I, I, I mean, was paying for. My um, mom's dead now. So, I mean. I was paying for most of was, my college. And I'm glad. Like it, it, I, I look at it the yeah. other way. Like I'm glad my parents weren't paying for my whole college because I would have wasted four or five years. I was listening to the Ramsey show today. And they said 7 million boys between 25 and 40 that are not working because they don't want to work. Yeah. And they are either sucking money off of mom and dad or friends or welfare or whatever. But the majority of, I think it was like 90% of them are able body. Yeah. 25 to 40, not work. 7 million people. That's the downfall of humanity. Yeah. The successful people bust their ass. If you aren't successful, then start busting yeah. your ass. And don't go to the government and say, oh, can I have some money? Because I'm too lazy and too dumb to do something. Train yourself to let other people win arguments. You've got people that are wasting large amounts of time arguing over the internet to people that they'll never meet 
and they, oh, they yeah. never need to satisfy for any reason whatsoever. Yeah, the who ca- who cares? And and so yeah. they're they're choosing to get into internet arguments, and it's just a massive time suck, and it's a massive waste of time, and it's it's dragging them down emotionally. What do you get if you win? Nothing. What yeah. do you get if you lose? Nothing. What do you get if you stay silent? Your time, and that's worth everything. Yeah, when I get home matters. to my big ass fucking house, I'll be fine. Maturity comes when you don't take things personally. Rather than beating around the bush and getting cold shouldered and kind of clamping up and closing down a little bit, the older person, the mature person, they're going to flat out say, I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Whereas somebody <laughs> in their 20s or 30s, yeah, they'll be like, eh, I don't know. Hmm, maybe I need to talk to my husband. Hmm. And they'll, they'll come up with all these dodgy answers. Because they don't want to just flat out tell you that they don't like the way you're speaking to them. At 25 years old, your inner circle should be focused on making money, building your body, and making a family. What the fuck does building (laughs) your body mean? So what that means is... What the fuck does that mean? Building your body of work? (laughs) No, no, no. Or like, I should be working out. Uh, Because at 25, I was fucking yoked, and I didn't work out at all. (laughs) I used to be heavily involved in the local car scene around here, right? One thing I noticed about a lot of these 20 to 25 year olds, they're spending every dime they have on cars. They're spending every dime they have left over on modifying those cars. They're all very obese and they're all like when the weather's not right for cars, they're all out partying and getting drunk and getting smashed. If you want to build wealth in this country and want to do it the easiest way, you start early. Yes. If you are trying to save money, but your four closest friends are all the time pulling you out on the weekends into the bars and everything else and spending all your money, it ain't going to work. Joe Rogan dropped a show today where he's talking with Steve-O. Steve-O pointed out something that I've never even considered before. You see a lot of really, really old smokers, but you never see really, really old fat people. You don't need self-help books You need action and discipline. Oh, my God. I'm going to say it right now. You go to way too many stupid conferences. You listen to way too many fucking I got to have my mentors and I got to have this and I got to listen. I read too many fucking self-help books. That's you. Yep. I know what my goal is. Mm -hmm. So you know what it takes to get there. And so despite what anyone else says, I mean, I know what it's going to take. If I'm going to fly to Dallas for the weekend and and sit in a two-day conference... I don't want to sit in a two-day conference with a fucking cheerleader. I want to sit in a two-day conference with somebody who's been where I am and knows how to get past the struggles that I'm in right now. You don't need that. Yeah. You don't need someone to be... T- you need... So it, I don't know if you need anything. You, I think you'll you love need this. to just stay focused and be moving in the direction you're moving. You, you'll and, love this. In the, you know, in the, I think you have a little bit of self-doubt. And I think sometimes that you need some of that stuff. I, I don't yeah. know, listen. I don't know if I'm 100 percent right. It's not like you're looking for this person to provide the right answer to you. It's it's you're looking for them to validate the several options you've come up with, right? Yeah. Skills and financial education will make you win over 97 percent of college graduates. What if your college graduate was in financial education? Uh, they're using skills and they're using financial education to win. Most college graduates don't use their skills, and they don't use any sense of financial education. They literally went to college as like a scapegoat for, this will provide me success, Yeah, and they're really just a what, better trained your degree? honeybee. Yeah, what's your degree in? Uh, Liberal arts. Uh, advanced American literature. Or the people that uh, stay in the college system where they don't have to face life, they just keep going back and back and back and back. Yeah, they become like a TA. You can't expect honesty from people who lie to themselves. If you have a family member that says, oh, I'm trying to get my life together, and they've been telling you that for eight years, hoarders will always open the door and kind of block your view with their body for a minute. And they'll say, you know, I'm sorry, I haven't had a chance to clean this week. And then they open the door and you realize they haven't cleaned in 15 years. People are stuck in toxic relationships because they are afraid to be alone. Don't focus on fixing your relationship. Focus on being unafraid to be alone. Or focus on fixing yourself. Because when you fix yourself and you realize, Realize, oh man, this is because I'm afraid of being alone. Yeah. You have fixed yourself. I am no longer afraid to be alone. You fixed yourself. You're out of that relationship. The most difficult mission is to focus on your dreams, and the easiest task is to complain. <laughs> Welcome to America 101. Right. Let's, now, hey, you know what? I can't do it. I'm going to complain about it. So, a lot of people will give up on their grand mission 
in order to do one task, and that is to complain. It's not owning your own business. It could be a lot of things. It could be go to college, get a, just a good job, and, it's, and be a stay-at-home mom after five years. You know, it could be it could be all kinds of things. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. You're going to have to level up and become a better person in order to achieve it. you got to do the work to get the job done. The most important decision you will ever make is who you have children with, so choose wisely. Grant keeps saying his stomach hurts and his throat hurts and he's just not feeling it. I mean, he looks like shit. He's off sitting in a chair and from across the room we hear splat, splat, splat. Uh... And I look over there and he is puking all over the urgent care waiting room. But Are d- you telling me that motherfucker might have strep and you brought him over to my house today to meet my daughter <laughs> and be in my house and I was next to him two seconds ago? I'm going to tell you right now, if we all get sick, That's I'm going to seriously He's beat your ass when I come over here. I owe you a few beers, maybe. No, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs>